afternoon, my beautiful people. Jambo, it's Wagal Joelis back again with another episode. So you guys, somebody, <laughs> uh, somebody was asking me whether uh, you, are you supposed to forget everything in the past? Like you just have to forget them for you to move forward. Yeah, to some extent it is right, to some extent it's very wrong. Because maybe uh, there is somebody who said, don't delete the doctor's number because he has treated you and now you are very okay, you have recovered. Don't throw, uh, what can I say, those old memories, you know, those memories are very important, more so if it is something that is positive, a positive memory, and also some that are negative, but now when you have transformed your mind, you've changed from one level of thinking to another, you are still supposed to reflect back and see, am I still the same, same person or have I changed? And if I've changed, to what extent have I changed? So you are not supposed to forget. If you checked my last video, I was talking about uh, my time when I was in college, and uh, when I was doing that video, you guys, I got so much motivated because uh, if you want to know how far you have gone, please always check where you started, okay? Maybe to some extent you started a business with uh, 50,000 and right now you can even have like, let me say 500,000 uh, within a short period of time. So if you want to know how far you've gone, please always reflect back and see where did I start eh? and where am I right now and where am I focusing uh, to, to reach? So my answer to that, that question is don't ever forget your past. Don't ever forget your past. Like those are the memories. If there is a book that is worth reading, then that book, let me tell you, is the memories. Keep your memories pure. Keep yourself refreshing back. Like, you know, if you reflect back, you guys, you your mind will be renewed like you will see i can achieve this so you st you'll still need uh, those memories but more so please reflect to positive things yeah another question that i've got is how do you uh, how do you cope with maybe being indoors like you know the question was like I really love traveling from one place to another and how comes now how am I now that things are not normal my answer is let me tell you guys this time I've been mostly indoors like literally indoors and uh, the things that I do it has made me rediscover so many things like I can do a workout you guys and it is perfect like it is working for me i really do it three times in a week three times in a week and i have to do it because you know when you are just eating and sitting down you know at the same time you are eating but you also have to eat healthy okay we just don't eat and sit just eat and make uh, find something to do at least okay so i love doing workouts i love reading motivational books i love watching Mm, movies but not any other not just every movie that is there I select so those are some of the things that keep me going because now you can't go outside you can't meet new friends and all those things they are not now uh, allowed in Kenya not even in Kenya I think almost worldwide, worldwide things are not really normal so those are some of the things that I really have to do and also um, I have to like google is my best friend <laughs> i do google new ideas i just want to know what is trending what has come up what is the positive things that i can that can keep my mind at least awake all the time you guys another question that i've got uh, more frequently this one is from uh, my still my facebook but it was inboxed uh, he inboxed me in my uh, messenger and he was asking how do you create content now that you are at home you guys yeah that que question it has it's so heavy like yes you have to do a video you're not just supposed to stay there just sitting there because now people are in don't know so the question was <laughs> how do i create content you guys it has not been so easy but content if you are a youtuber you'll always have something to post you'll always have something to do like you can motivate people but where i get my content most of the time is from my uh or let me say can i say maybe my viewers or my subscribers because they always ask me like 
we need we need you to do this kind of video we need you to do this you have to respond to this so i always get my content from them most of the time i always get the content from them like somebody can just tell you i've never uh, seen you doing this kind of video that is the content already then you just wake up as you respond to it you are doing a video already yeah so most of the time within this curfew time my content is more so from you guys so even right now please leave your comments below let me know what you think leave contents below things that you want me to do some of the content that you would have me to do please leave them below so that i can pick from them and do something constructive yeah and my next question is from a comment from my previous video the video that i did when i was in college the one that i was doing um how i was in college and how I was and this question goes uh, like this she asked me why did you decide just to make your hair short because uh, in those videos she really saw me with long hair and all those so my answer is really not even so satisfying I don't think if I'll just uh, this one will be okay with you but I just kept my hair short you guys unknowingly like I just one day woke up in the morning walked straight to the uh, to the barber shop and told him I need my hair cut short you guys just like that and from that day I've never even decided to have that long hair but um, someone was like it is okay uh, you are very smart with the long hair some are like you are very okay with the short hair you guys leave your comments below let me still know but I just woke up one day walked straight to the barber shop made my hair as short as it is and from that day up to today <laughs> I've never visited a salon like for my hair yeah but i just think i'm okay you guys leave your comments below let me know what you think thank you so much for thank you so much for that question rather and um i think my answer will satisfy you please the next question is straight from messenger again and this guy was asking me the requirement for one to start a youtube channel <laughs> okay it's not so bad to to start a youtube channel and it is not also everybody's cup of tea but let me answer you straight away that before you know even the requirement for you to start a YouTube channel, ask yourself if, uh, is it in you? Is it coming inside you? Like, is it from inside? Is it, you, you, are you passionate about it? Are you ready to start it? Like you just want to start it, not because of any other thing, but because it is coming within you. Okay, my answer is, I think, you just have to create an account in YouTube. I, I don't think if there are so many requirements, you just have to have, can I say email? Then you just create your YouTube channel and connect it with AdSense account and that's all. You just start um, posting videos provided you have email. It's just as simple as that. Um, just like that. I don't think if there is any other thing that you really need and you also have to know the content okay can i say the niche like what exactly do you want to do in your channel do you can't just post everything widely you have to narrow down to specify the the kind of videos that you want to do if it is traveling if it's cooking things like that